Hello, I'm Georgia Lennon and I play Paula Pukriski in the UK tour of An Officer and a Gentleman and we're here at the new Wimbledon today. If you want to follow me, we'll head backstage. Hello and welcome to my dressing room. So, this is where all of my dressing room bits and bobs all go in every week. Um, we all have one of these each and it's up to us to try and make everything squish in as best we can. Um, mine is slowly getting more and more jam-packed as we, as we move through different venues. Um, so I've got my own teapot with my name on it. Um, and then I've got a load of loose leaf teas and my own little kettle that I tour around with me. And my little mug. Um, and I like to have a little tea before every show. Um, and I sort of rotate it between different herbal teas depending on what I fancy. And then if you move down here, this is where I do most of my getting ready. Um, and I have lovely little bits and pieces that I have out, um, which are my like little dressing room touches. So I've got my, my rings are on at the moment, but um, I've got my little pot of crystals that I like to sit out on the little dish. And then I have to show you this because it's super cute. Um, but I've got my own little Fabby Dabby doll, which is me and Luke. Um, and this is us in the final um, iconic pose of the show, which is super nice. And then the main important event is my makeup bag, um, which my lovely, lovely agent bought for me with my name on it. Um, and that has all of my show makeup in, everything that I need for the show. We get given some makeup by the company. Um, so for instance, this is one of our little um, eyeshadow palettes that we use. Um, and they're all sort of tailored to our specific characters, so that's Paula's um, makeup of choice. Um, and then I have loads of little different knickknacks. I always have my food for the night on the um, windowsill behind me. And then I've got some lovely little flowers from the theatre and from my mum and dad in the corner of my room. One of my pre-show rituals is that when we get the five minute call, so it comes through on the tannoy and it says, um, members of the Office of the Gentleman Company, this is your five minute call, which means we have five minutes until we need to be down at stage ready to start. Um, that is kind of my signal for me to put on my last song before I go to stage. So I pop on my Alexa um, and I choose the song in that moment that makes me like get up and want to dance the most. So Paula is the leading lady of the show and she plays opposite Zach Mayo. Um, and she is a typical um, Pensacola factory girl um, who has always lived in the same town but knows what she wants and she's so strong-willed and I think that's what I love most about her um, as a character is she's such a, a figure of sort of female empowerment and strong women um, and I just really love that she knows what she wants um, she knows how to get it and she's so determined and she never lets that stop her but within the story of an officer and a gentleman she has her best friend Lynette and Lynette's one aim in life is to marry an officer candidate and travel the world and go to all these different Navy bases and live the life of an officer's wife. Um, and Paula just finds that so ridiculous and she never ever thinks that she will fall in love with an officer candidate because her father was an officer candidate too and ended up leaving her mum um, and going off on tour with the Navy instead. So it kind of takes her by complete surprise when she meets Zach Mayo and instantly um, sees something in him and falls in love with him. And there's so many beautiful moments of um, romance and um, courage and determination and bravery throughout the show um, of her sort of going through these peaks and troughs of does she want to be on her own or does she want to um, sort of succumb to this love that she's feeling. Let's take a little look backstage. So this is the backstage crossover here, which is also our quick change area. So if you follow me down here, this little chair here is my little chair, which is where I sit for the show and do all of my changes. So all my shoes and stuff are underneath the chair, um, my Converse, all different sorts of stuff. And then I've got Sinead who plays Lynette next to me and Mel who plays my mum on the other side. And there's a little mirror here for us to check our wigs. And then on this side, you've got all of our costumes. So this trundle here is where all of my costumes stay um, with my little name above here um, for all the officers and the officer candidates. Um, which are super duper cool. This is Luke's who plays Zach Mayo, um, who I play opposite, and Paul's as well. Um, and then we've got the Material Girl costumes as well. And I wish I had one of these pink blazers because pink's my favorite color. Um, so then if you follow me around this way, just up the stairs here is one of our back entrances to the stage. So if you head straight up these stairs, um, it takes you up to a gate, which is at the top. And then that's 
when that's docked with the stairs that are on stage, we can enter and exit via that little bit. So this is a little secret entrance. And then just behind you here, we've got all of the um, stuff from the officers' candidate scenes. So we've got all of their shoes ready for working with on the weekend. Um, and this is their, their beds that they use, which is pretty cool. Um, if you follow me over here, this is our stage right trundle, which is where all of our water bottles and stuff live in this side. Um, and this is all the props that we would pick up from stage right. So for example, this is mine and Sinead's drinks for girls just want to have fun. So we come over here and we pick them up before we head on stage. But there's all sorts of different stuff here. Sid's um, ball for one of those scenes, nearly dropped it. Um, loads of spare paper bags, which we use for the um, factory scenes, factory bits and pieces. So these are the boxes that we use. And I think they're all new boxes tonight, but sometimes they have um, the initials on of where they've come from. So, so far we've been to Birmingham, Glasgow, Belfast, Landudno, and now we've ended up here in Wimbledon. But this is the set of stairs that I was on about, which is when it's docked, um, you can get off stage down to the back secret entrance. Um, this is a secret door. Um, and through here we do some of our entrances as well. Um, then down here we've got the car which me and Lynette take our girls just want to have fun um, section in so we swap halfway through so we jump over the seats between each other um, and this gets pushed around the stage it's on wheels and enters and exits with those lovely sparkly boiler suits um, and I really enjoy this moment it's super cool and then here we've also got the wall which the I'm not going to attempt to do it but the um, boys and Seagar all climb this wall and go over the top which is one of the iconic scenes from the film um, and Seagar's sort of main aim is to try and climb this wall which by the end of it she does. Um, we've got all these big bits at the back um, which you can see right now uh, they are all lit during the show so you've got the F-14 Tomcat up there which is um, one of the planes. I thought it was a rocket ship apparently it's not. <laughs> Um, and then this one lights up with the motel sign on it and we've got one over here as well which is TJ's but you can also disappear behind these grips and people do appear right here um, so it's a, quite a cool set loads of different stuff happening these stairs move all the time during the show to um, transport us to different scenes different places and like I said they dock that's the secret exit just up there um, with the big X running through it and that's, that door moves and we can get on and off from there um, when the stairs are in place. And then if you follow me this side, I'll show you stage left as well. So at the moment, the jukebox is just hiding over here, which gets brought on for all of our um, TJ's bar scenes. And then here are all of our mics waiting for tonight's show. So they've all been refitted with batteries and they're ready to go um, for this evening's show. This here is the prompt desk, which our lovely DSM Jodie sits here. And she calls the entire show from this folder here. And you can see all the on stage action as well. She presses all the buttons. That's given the view of what the stage looks like right now. But during the show, you can see everyone. And then on this one here, is where you'll be able to see Chris, our MD, and that's where he, they have a view of him conducting the show as well. Um, and then down this way is all of the mic stuff, everyone's um, radios and stuff like that. And then here it shows you everyone's um, mics and what would be happening with them when they were on. And then this is kind of like what you saw on stage right, but this is the stage left side. We also have our very fun whiteboard where we get a riddle of the day every day that we have to try and figure out, which is just a nice little thing to keep us all going backstage. Right, I've got to go and get ready for warm up and then our press night tonight. So if you want to come and catch us up until November around the UK, then check out our website for all of our venues and you can book tickets on there as well. A huge thank you to the Theatre Cafe for following me around today and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.